You're thinking of moving to Vancouver, or you're already planning to move to Vancouver, but where's the best area for you to live in when you first get here? I've got the answer. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the Real Justine Priestley channel. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist here in Greater Vancouver. If you want to rent when you first get here, so you have a chance to get to know the city and kind of get your bearings, I always recommend to people that they live in the West End. In this video, I've got the top five reasons why the West End is the best end. It's my goal on this channel to offer for you tons of information about the Greater Vancouver area, about buying and selling, and just learning all about this beautiful, diverse, complicated city that's my hometown, Vancouver. When talking about real estate, people always say location, location, location. And in the case of the West End, location is the number one reason to live here. The West End is sandwiched between Stanley Park and the downtown core of Vancouver. But don't be fooled, the West End is a very quiet residential community with three busy streets running through it, Davie, Denman, and Robson. Most of the other streets and blocks in the West End are surprisingly quiet. If shopping is your jamboni, Robson Street is one of the most famous shopping streets in Vancouver. And if you want super high end, one block away on Alberni Street is where you'll find it. This location right next to the downtown core makes everything super convenient in the West End. It has an incredibly high walk score. You don't need a car if you live in the West End. Tons of buses and guide train stations are at your fingertips in the West End. The West End also has tons and tons of bike lanes. So if walking is a little too far, just hop on your bike. I guess you might be watching from somewhere that isn't Vancouver. Where are you watching from? Drop it in the comments. The number two reason that I recommend the West End to new Vancouverites is that it's more affordable than many other areas. The West End had a big building boom in the 60s and the 70s, and there are many, many apartment buildings from this era. Because these buildings are older, it means that the rents are often a little bit cheaper than most other areas in Vancouver. The West End is very residential, but there are very few single family detached houses. It's almost all apartment buildings. If you like the West End, smoosh the like. Just give it a smoosh. <laughs> My number three reason why I love the West End is that it is gorgeous. In the spring especially, and also in the autumn, the foliage around the West End is so fabulous. The autumn colors where the leaves are turning, or all the flowers and different trees and bushes that bloom in the spring. When you're walking around, which you will do, it's so pretty everywhere, and there are plenty of parks and green spaces also, you're surrounded by beaches on all sides. Wow! The world-famous Stanley Park is also right at your fingertips in the West End. If you live west of Denman, that's a very special place in the West End. It's only two blocks wide, and you can be one or two blocks from Stanley Park. Stanley Park is truly one of the jewels of Vancouver. Living in the West End with so much wild nature all around, you are going to come up against some wild animals. For the most part, they're incredibly tame and unafraid of humans. Canada geese basically rule the neighborhood. My fourth reason why the West End is the best end and why it's a great place to begin your Vancouver journey is the community. The West End has always been a place where newcomers settle in Vancouver when they first come to town. For decades, the West End has welcomed people from all over the world, all kinds of lifestyles. Davy Village was one of the first places in all of Canada to have a gay pride parade every year, and that is a big part of the Davy Village identity. Rainbows festoon the area, and it is a friendly, welcoming place. 
there are plenty of young families in the West End with a couple of the oldest schools in Vancouver, the King George High School. And Lord Roberts Elementary, which originally opened in 1901. The West End has one of the biggest selection of restaurants in all of Vancouver in such a small area. You have anything you could possibly want. You could literally eat out every meal for a month and you would never get bored of the choices. Pro tip, if you like ramen, there's an area in the West End. It's called Ramen Row, and it centers around the west end of Robson Street near Denman. There are at least 10 different ramen places within a few blocks of each other. Yum. And my fifth reason why the West End is the best place to start your Vancouver journey is because it's super safe. And there's lots of nightlife, so there's lots of people out on the streets, even late at night. It's very well lit, and all the neighbors seem to know each other on the blocks. One of the great things about Vancouver in general is the great outdoors, and the West End is no different. Watching the sunset in English Bay in the summer is one of my favorite things to do in the West End. The sky doesn't get dark until 10.30 at night on the longest summer days, and the sun drops right into the ocean. You can sit on the beach and watch the sun go down. It's wonderful. I've covered the five tips, but here's a bonus one. All the history. The West End was one of the first parts of Vancouver that was developed, and the early barons of Vancouver had mansions in this part of town, west of the downtown area where it was quite industrial. And you can still see some remnants from those days in different parts of the West End. I guess you can tell how much I love the West End, everybody. And I hope when you get there, you do too. Thanks for watching the Real Justine Priestley channel, everyone. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist here in the greater Vancouver area. And remember, reach out anytime. I'm here to help and I'm here for you. As promised, here are some listings that I found on my go-to for rentals, Craigslist, in February 2022. Take a gander at these places. I would live in any of these places. Location, location, location. It's all about the West End. If you want to watch a video about the next city over next to Vancouver called Burnaby, you can watch this video right here. See you in the next video. Bye. Shout out to my friend Yola Brent.